I think I did really well. I think, you know, the important thing was to come and uh, contrast what I can offer this community in the 38th Assembly District from what Mr. Acosta offers. And really with me, it's about access. I'm a member of the majority party, but I'm a centrist, moderate Democrat, which really speaks to where this district is now. We're a very purple district. And I would go to Sacramento with access to the people who are in the positions to be making, uh, you know, decisions on legislation, the assembly speaker and, and those committees. And, you know, it, it, it's nothing that's to diminish, you know, the, the my opponent's service to the community and his service on the city council, but the, just by the nature of the way that the state government operates, you know, the majority power is with the majority party and that's where the decisions are made. And it's highly likely that in this cycle that we would capture a super majority as a Democratic Party. And so sending a Republican simply serves as sending a protest vote. And I want to serve to be able to bring more back to this district than I think Mr. Acosta could. This was a very heated debate. It was. Uh, so do you have any comments on you know, his, his approach to, to everything and the arguments that he brought up and the points that he brought up? No, I mean, I think we're both really passionate about service, and that's a good thing. You know, that's what you want in your leaders. Um, you know, what I do quibble with is that he hasn't aligned himself with the more extreme elements of his party. But again, you know, that's for him to talk about in front of the public, and I'm going to talk about what I bring to the table. But uh, yeah, it got a little heated, but as these do, and that's the nature of politics. So if you do get elected, what could we look forward to when you get in office? What kinds of things do you think you'll be addressing? Yeah, an open door policy and transparency is really the most important thing to me. And I don't think we've seen that in our legislators here locally. And it's something I'm very, very committed to. This idea of bringing roundtables of people together on a regular basis in the 38th district when I'm home from Sacramento to talk about what's impacting people. Everything from business, jobs, education, environment, transportation, all of the issues that we all live with and deal with every day. What can we do to solve it here at the local level? What can I take back to Sacramento and get done so that our district and our state are functioning better? Thank you.